everyone, I'm Roxy Deer and I am the Director of Professional Development for the Wayne County Area Chamber of Commerce. On this week's episode of Chamber Chat, I'm really excited to be joined virtually with Tammy Olery, one of the owners of Olery's Ice Cream. Hi, Tammy. Hi. I am so excited to have you. Um, you just brought, so we're in my office, we're in our offices, we're in different rooms, social distancing, and you just brought me a delicious treat. Um, <laughs> probably one of the best places in Wayne County, I would have to say. And so tell us a little bit about Ulleri's ice cream, how you're doing um, during the pandemic, how's business going, um, and what it's like to be Tammy Ulleri in Wayne County. Well, um, we love being a part of Wayne County for sure. And um, business is doing really well. Um, Obviously, a lot of events were canceled, but we will be able to Um, change some things at the store and put in a walk-up window and that has gone very well Um, thankfully the weather's been great and um, we were able to add in uh, at the very beginning when we first reopened after the everyone's quarantine we were able to add in um, a product called an essential sundae and it was um, an essential sundae kit actually and it was really went off, went over very well with everyone. It um, contained two pints of ice cream, several toppings, and then waffle um, little chips so that people could take that Sunday, purchase it, take it home, and enjoy Sunday kit with their family. And also, um, a lot of people were picking it up and purchasing it and taking it to grandkids, dropping it off on their porches or to friends and family that they couldn't see um, or that those that they could enjoy that together. So that went over really well. That was a nice addition. Um, We still have that, but obviously a lot of people are more out and about now. And um, we we just love being a part of this community. Well, I, one, I think the Essential Sunday Kit was genius, and I, people were posting pictures, and I thought, they really got outside, and they thought outside the box on that one, so congratulations on that, but I also, we're here today to celebrate something you created. um, Every year, the Chambers Community Improvement Awards recognizes one Spirit Award winner, and in the past, that's been the Meltdown Festival we've done in concert. We've celebrated lots of groups in the community who bring uniqueness to the community, but also raise the energy. They make people happy. They just make the spirit of the community a little bit stronger. And you did something really unique during quarantine and during the beginning pandemic stages. And you created a project called the Happy Heart Collection and, or happy, I think we're calling it Happy Heart Hunt at one point. Happy Heart Hunt, yes. Yeah, Happy Heart Hunt. And it's the winner of this year's Community Spirit Award. And I'm so excited about this. Exciting. (laughs) Tammy, why don't you tell our audience a little bit about what the Happy Heart Hunt was? So during quarantine time, I was just scanning through social media and I saw a group that was called a national happy, it was a national happy heart hunt and tens of thousands of members on the page. And all all they did was post pictures of heart designs, either in nature or on windows or in the clouds or wherever it was that they were finding hearts. Um, Just very inspiring. And um, I talked with a friend of mine, her name is Debbie Warner, um, who is an amazing artist. And I said, hey, I wanna put a heart on our window. And um, she very willingly um, helped me out with that. And I contacted you and you were very excited about it as well. And I said, hey, can we push this out? Can we, you know, um, make a Facebook page? that actually says Happy Heart Hunt, Richmond, Wayne County. And you were very excited about that and very encouraging. So yes, let's do this. Let's invite friends. Let's invite businesses to play along. And um, that's how it happened. And it spread like wildfire. And it did. I don't think either one of us ever expected that to happen, but the Leland did something really unique. And I think something that kind of took this project, this idea, and they really made it happen. You want to talk a little bit about Amanda and her team did? 
Well, what Amanda Nursing did was they encouraged, I don't, I don't know if they encouraged residents to make the hearts or if they just made the hearts themselves, but they put hearts in every single window of that building, every single window. And then they put a huge banner on top that uh, I can't remember exactly what it said, but it's just, you know, we are Richmond. We love, you know, just with a big heart. And I just, I was really amazed at how inspiring that was, not only just for the residents who had hearts in every one of their windows, they couldn't leave their rooms. So they had a constant reminder and of, of just encouragement. And then the thousands of people who drove by every day because they're in such a prominent location for our city. And so I thought that was very encouraging. Yeah, it was, and it was really cool to see. I, I didn't leave my house for a couple of days and Amanda had sent me pictures of the hearts and I thought, oh, that's cute. They did it on a few windows. That's a lot of fun. And then yeah. I drove up to the Leland and the whole, pl and not just like one color, they no. used every color yes. in the rainbow and hearts. And then a couple days later, you start to see other businesses downtown putting hearts in their windows. And it became a staple of the community. It Tammy, did. why did you do this? Like, tell us, I, you've told me why you did it. Tell, tell the community. You know, I think similar to the other groups that started, it, it was started to, you know, we, we all were just so very sad and things had changed so rapidly. We, I know we all felt alone. I know there were, you know, increased issues of depression for people. I know that when I drove through town, when everything was closed, it was hard. It was hard not to cry. Um, just a sense of, of just what is going on um, and a whole roller coaster of emotions. Um, and whenever you drive by and we see hearts, it helped remind you that it's, it's okay. It's going to be okay. And it, I think that the more we saw, and especially in prominent places, um, it just created a sense of community. Um, I know the other groups online that I had seen said that their purpose was to spread love, joy, happiness, kindness, but most of all, to spread hope. And I think that's what that did is it reminded us. And I know in the, in the big heart that was on our window, mm -hmm. we added the word hope. And just a single great big huge heart, but it had the word hope. And I felt like that, you know, one of my favorite sayings is keep hope alive in your heart always. And when you have hope in your heart, it helps you to keep going. Yeah, it truly does. And we put these hearts up in our windows and my, I know my neighborhood did and the kids loved them because yes. they were going outside and they're looking for hearts in everyone's windows. But then it gave the adults something too, you know, like you said, we were all kind of in this tunnel, like, when is this going to end? What does this mean for my job? What does this mean for my community? But then all of a sudden you realize I'm not alone. I'm all around. I'm surrounded by people. And there's this little glimmer of hope and something that I, I truly appreciated during quarantine. And I know all of my neighbors in our community did too. Good. I just, I, I'm so excited about this. We're going to show some pictures as well um, throughout this interview of different community members who did that. But okay. um, for those of you who don't know, Community Improvement Awards is an event that we host every year at the Chamber um, celebrating beautification projects that have happened in our community. But this year, because of COVID and the world we live in, we can't do that. So we're actually going to be doing a publication and and the Happy Heart Hunt will be um, celebrated in that publication. Thank you. That's exciting. Yeah, it, it truly is. One thing that we added, and I know that this was pretty um, common around the city and around the country and the world, was a bear hunt. Yeah. And individuals put bears in their windows, um, whether it was a home or whether it was a business. And so it was, it was very, it was hard to go by restaurants and see nothing happening. It was hard to walk into mine and see no one sitting there. So I asked some grandchildren if they had large stuffed bears. And um, I had three grandchildren that did. So we were able to get four, um, two bears and two large bunnies and sat them in chairs at the front window and um, 
put ice cream, you know, <laughs> pretend ice cream in front of them. So it looked like they were sitting and enjoying um, ice cream and, and um, having a good time inside. But um, I thought that was helpful too. And it was always fun to see the bears and whatever stuffed animals and um, other windows Absolutely. around the area. Yeah, I tried to find a stuffed bear, and apparently I have gotten rid of all my stuffed animals or put them <laughs> in storage, so I used dog toys in my windows <laughs> during quarantine, because that's the only thing I had. <laughs> that works until they take them, right? Yeah, until they jumped up and grabbed them. That was great. <laughs> well, Tammy, thank you so much for joining me today, for bringing me some delicious, I'm so excited about that treat, um, and I we can't say enough for the work that you've done for our community. You always celebrate. You're a big advocate for our community. And I just thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you. We appreciate the chamber. Hi, everyone. I'm Roxy Deer with the Wayne County Area Chamber of Commerce. And earlier tonight, you heard from Tammy Olery from Olery's Ice Cream talking about the Happy Heart Campaign. And today I'm here with my boss. This is a little weird, right, to interview your boss? <laughs> <laughs> Melissa Vance, CEO and President of the Wayne County Chamber. Hi, Melissa. Hey. It's so good to finally get to interview you for once. <laughs> I know. This feels very different. But, <laughs> you know, I think. Um, it's good that we just get a chance to chat about what's going on. So before we get into the meat of our conversation, why don't you go ahead and give everyone an update on the chamber? Well, um, obviously it has been a crazy year for everyone. Um, we know our member businesses in, and others in this area have been through turmoil and a time that most of us that are in leadership have never experienced. Um, but we've seen a whole lot of resiliency with our businesses, and that's been great to see. People have done what it takes to push through, and um, we've been working closely with um, the Indiana Chamber and the U.S. Chamber and our legislators to make sure that the tools that are needed and the relief that has been needed has gone through. We are um, pushing for another relief package, although I'm not sure given the current election cycle that we're going <laughs> to see that um, within the next couple months, but we were hopeful that we're going to be able to see some more things coming. Um, and then on other fronts, you know, we had a fantastic farm tour yeah. that was incredibly well done thanks to you and the <laughs> committee and it's been fantastic to actually be outside and enjoying an event together although we were all masked up and socially <laughs> distant at least we were face to face for a change and that was wonderful absolutely so in the previous interview we talked to Tammy Olery who is um, the recipient of the Spirit Award for Community Improvement. Um, that's not going to be an event this year. Why don't you tell the audience a little bit about what we're doing in, with that event before we start with the other event? Yes. So Community Improvement Awards is normally at the Leland in their ballroom, and we are celebrating businesses that have beautified their properties and, in essence, beautified our entire community. Um, but we didn't want to pack 175 people into a room in an assisted living facility, um, <laughs> this year for obvious reasons. And so we decided we didn't want to go without recognizing the businesses that have invested over the last year. And there are many on that list. So we're going to do a magazine. We're going to come out with a publication that will be mailed out to our members, and then we'll have extra copies to share with folks. But um, we, we're putting together a really, nice, a really nice publication, recognizing all of the nominees, and then we'll announce our, um, our big winners in addition to the Spirit Award. Great. Well, I'm so excited about that. And so that event usually happens in September. In October, we have Taste of Wayne County. Clearly with COVID going on, having an event with 500 people, 
not something we want to work on. So the Chamber's come up with a really great initiative. Why don't you tell everyone about the new Taste of Wayne County? Well, we didn't want to not help restaurants. And, you know, normally restaurants come out and they give out food samples to 500 people at Taste of Wayne County. And it's an expense for them, although it's a marketing expense. Um, this year, we really wanted to do something that would help drive business to their restaurants. And at, at a time like this, when a lot of people have been eating at home and um, their customer base has been down, although they've transitioned to a lot of takeout, we wanted to do that. And so we're doing restaurant week. And for those of you watching, if you've ever been or seen Devour Indie and some things, some other big communities have done things like this, where um, restaurants offer specials for that week and they um, encourage people to go in and patronize them. We're gonna do the same thing. So whether you feel like um, you are comfortable with dine-in and you wanna go in and enjoy restaurant week dine-in style or an outside patio or whatever, that would be wonderful. But if you don't feel like that, you can still do takeout, still support the restaurants throughout this week um, and hopefully beyond, but also get maybe some special flavors and special deals that aren't normally happening. So we know that this event is happening October 17th through the 23rd, 24th. I can't remember the date off the top of my head. I gotta look here, through the 23rd. So October 17th through the 23rd, all, our restaurants will be running special deals um, we have different price points for each restaurant. Why do you think, besides supporting our businesses and getting, you know, getting feet in the door, why are businesses excited about this? Well, I think that it's something different. You know, it's something positive that's happening in a time where we are aching for something positive. And, um, you know, it's just a... It's a mind shift right now. Yes. We've been focusing on all of the crazy that we've had to do from extra personal protective equipment and precautions and trying to keep our employees staffed and trained and all of that. It's a shift to something good. And I think restaurant owners and their staff are excited to have an opportunity like this where they just get a, you know, do something fun. Yeah, exactly. If a restaurant is interested in getting involved, what can they do? Well, first of all, um, you have to be a chamber member. So if you're not a chamber member, you need to call Roxy right away. She will get you set up. She is our membership guru in the office and she can take care of you. Um, which is, you know, it's fairly low cost expense for a great marketing effort. But um, once you're a chamber member, and for the many restaurant chamber members we already have, really just calling our office, we have a form that we will send you and, and get the information about what you want to offer. And then we're going to advertise this like crazy. We're using all of our advertising budget that we normally spend on Taste of Wayne County for restaurant week. So um, we're working with our radio partners largely, and then we'll be doing some social media campaigns and um, working with tourism and, and others like we do on other things. But it's, it's just a really great opportunity to jump in and, and do something special for the community. Yeah, we're really excited about it. Once again, it's October 17th through the 23rd. Any chamber member restaurant will be involved um, that would like to be involved. If you're interested in joining the chamber, you can contact our office at 765-962-1511. Thank you, for Melissa, for joining me today. I'm really excited I got to sit down with you. I am too. Thank <laughs> you for inviting me to be on the show. <laughs> well, have a great day, and thanks for um, everything that you do. Absolutely.